Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Respert, and today I'm going to talk you through the inner workings of the playable camera mode glitch, which from this moment on will be referred to as PCM. PCM is a wonderful little glitch that allows Rayman to do pretty much exactly the same cool stuff he can do normally, but with the extra advantage of having the game think that you are in camera mode. This particular state of being can have some pretty interesting consequences, the main one being that you can take advantage of the fact that power-up cans never run out when you are in camera mode, as it would be silly for somebody to try and take a photo using the camera mode and have the power-up expire during the snap now, wouldn't it? The glitch works on all current releases of the game, although when attempting to perform this glitch on the GameCube version, the game softlocks. However, this glitch can only be performed easily on the Xbox 360, as it is a 1 to 3 frame trick, depending on the level, and currently, the only version capable of buffering this trick to make it consistent is the 360 version. This means that people playing the PS2, PC, PS3 and Xbox version of this game will struggle to successfully perform this glitch in RTA. Shame. Now then, there are a number of ways in which you can acquire PCM, all of which involve triggering the camera mode button on a particular frame, and all of which I will be covering in this next section. To trigger this glitch successfully, you will need to activate the camera mode button on the first frame of a cutscene that plays after a loading screen transition between one level and the next. You can do this by, say, spamming the camera mode button towards the end of the loading screen in the hope that one of your mashes catches the first frame of the next level. However, this method isn't always entirely 100% guaranteed to trigger the glitch, and if repeated over and over and over again to try and get the glitch with this unbuffered method, you are more than likely going to end up hurting yourselves, and I do not wish to be seen endorsing such barbaric behaviours. Thankfully, there is a way to buffer this trick. Keep in mind that this buffer is ONLY possible on the Xbox 360 version. By pressing the Xbox Guide button on your controller during the loading screen, the game will continue to load until it reaches the very first frame of a new level. Then it's simply a matter of cancelling your guide screen and mashing the camera mode button until the guide screen goes away and puts you back in the game screen, and hopefully then that will have hit the correct frame needed to trigger the glitch. Okay, so you're saying that's not consistent enough for you either? Well then, how about you just buffer the first frame of the level and after cancelling the Xbox Guide this time press and HOLD the camera mode button. There you go, 100% consistency. You're welcome. Here's some controller cam footage to show how complicated and precise this trick is to activate on the 360 version. Now then, once the glitch is successfully triggered, you may think you're home and dry, but you could not be further from the truth of it. Movement is finicky, the camera can be trollsy, and even every jump you input could be your last. Now then, let's break down PCM a little more so, shall we? PCM has two different modes, which to save me some breath and detailing, I shall refer to as either A slash B mode, or Y slash N mode, as shown on the screen now. AB mode is the mode that PCM will start off in when you have triggered the glitch, and it has some very strange mechanics, namely that the zoom in and out buttons of the camera mode work simultaneously with the buttons mapped to the controller in normal gameplay, for example target mode. The camera also moves around in the same way it would if you were moving the camera around in camera mode, which often impairs vision whenever you are, say, turning a corner around a wall or climbing onto a ledge. Also, rolling is not an option in this mode, as B to roll will cancel PCM as it is mapped to B to cancel in camera mode. Personally, I wouldn't recommend moving around in this particular mode. Y N mode is a lot easier to control and allows for appropriate use of target mode as the zoom in and out function no longer applies in this mode. The camera is also improved, but it still has some odd camera features which are particularly noticeable during the first phase of the reflux final fight. The problem with movement in YN mode is that the jump button and the yes no select option are mapped to the same button, meaning that it is very easy to accidentally cancel PCM as you will be sliding between the yes no options as you move about. It is important to note that while you are in EVA mode, first person mode doesn't work when PCM is active, 
This means no super jumping or glide walking while in PCM. Currently, the levels this trick is useful for in an any percent speedrun are clearly Forest Part 3, Bog of Mert Part 1, Land of the Livid Dead Part 1, Deserts of the Canaran Part 1, Summit Beyond the Clouds Part 2, and Tower of the Leptus Part 4. There are likely to be more areas where it is useful for any percent, as well as where it's useful for any other category, but hell if I know about them right now. So, people have been asking me, right? Respect! How does this wonderful glitch work, man? Well, I haven't the foggiest, but I can talk a whole lot of BS about it as a bit of a fair alternative. I think that as the game transfers from the loading screen to the game, each level has a certain number of neutral frames where nothing is happening, but the game will still register inputs. The majority of inputs, of course, will have no effect on the gameplay. However, the mode which enables you to take photos puts the player in a completely different game state when it is activated, where Rayman normally would be standing still and the player would be spinning around the camera wildly trying to take a baller photo. When a level starts, there are a minuscule amount of neutral frames where Rayman has not yet been assigned a game state to be in. He's just been standing there behind a loading screen for the last few seconds waiting for the game to whisk him onto a new map. During those first few neutral frames at the beginning of a level, if the button to trigger the camera mode is pressed, then the game will assign Rayman to the camera mode state. But the game will also try and put Rayman into his normal playable state, and because the game does not know how to handle it, being in the camera mode state at the start of a level will just ignore it. And the game just applies a normal Rayman state on top of the camera mode state, allowing Rayman to go balls to the walls through a level. Providing you do not cancel PCM, of course. Well, that just about covers PCM, or what we know about it so far. I'd like to just quickly give credit to GamePro011 for discovering this glitch and helping out with some of the testing as we learn more about the glitch and how it works. Thanks, man. Also thanks to Lightweight Runner, Linky Link 241 and Ribshark for confirming this glitch on the PS3, PS2 and PC version respectively. 10 out of 10 in my books. Here are a few more clips showing off PCM in action. Enjoy!